Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about another city tweak, and this one is called App Locker, and it does exactly what it says it will do, locks your apps. And we all have that one friend, considering you have friends, which you don't, because I'm a mean person, but if you do, then you know that one time that, or a couple times that someone takes it, goes onto your messages and just starts replying to every single thing and it's just embarrassing, or they go onto your photos and go through every selfie that you took, about, uh, took of yourself, and uh, yeah, then they bully you for the rest of your life. So I'm here to show you an awesome app that hopefully will get you out of that situation since they're gonna click on an app and guess what's gonna appear? This little thing. Ha! Your app is locked. Now let me go show you how to do that with our awesome tweak called App Locker. My password, which you probably should not know, but since you just saw it, it is I, standing for Ion Sidio, so you should go ahead and subscribe because I'm that awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the settings since you already know basically what the concept is. You click on an app, if you know the password, you get through. If you don't, well, you're screwed. Let me go ahead and give you a little test run. There you go, click launch, and boom. Now let's go into settings with the settings because obviously that's what I do with my life. I mess around with every single tweak settings possible. So first we're going to go into general and see what we can do here. We have session lock, which basically allows you to unlock one app and instantaneously it unlocks every single app that you have locked, if that makes any sense. So say I enable camera calendar and all three and four of these apps. Then I go into messages and unlock messages. Guess what? All these will be unlocked as well. Let me go ahead and unlock those since I have no need of unlocking my calculator. Well, you never know these days with NSA and all that. And uh, yeah, let's turn off session locking for now. Next, we have lock settings, which you can tweak around with on your own. Lock device on fail. So if someone goes on your iPod and tries to go into your messages and types in the wrong password, or if you accidentally do it, then it's going to lock your whole device with the password itself. So I guess that's a little helpful. And auto launch, as I showed you about a minute ago, it basically launches the application without you having to go into uh, tap on the little launch icon. Then there's animation type, there's standard and cool. Um, cool actually isn't that cool, and standard isn't that cool either, so boring. Now let's see what else we have. We have the numeric keypad. So say you want the password to be one, two, three, four. You can have that as well, you just need to enable uh, numeric keypad. Now remember, you can't use the numeric keypad if you have the letter A in there or a dash or something like that. I will remind you, you do need to respring for this to take effect. So I'm going to change that back to I because I like the word I and it's really easy and fast to type in. Here, as you just saw, you can lock certain applications. Good, good, nice. Here's all my applications. Dead Trigger is an awesome game, by the way. And these are a few things you can mess around with on your own. You can also lock folders. Now, this is very simple. All you do is enable it. Then if you have a certain folder named, say, Cydia, go into folder name, type in Cydia, and all of a sudden that will be locked, which your password, which is whatever. And uh, yeah, good that. There's also reset password phrase. So say you forget your password by accident. I don't know how you forget the word I, but if you do, you can enable this, and then you can type in, yo, mama, so fat. Okay, I'm not gonna continue that. But you can type in something like that, and uh, voila, it's all good. There's also more. I found this feature really interesting. So say someone holds down an icon because they want to delete it or something then you can enable this and all of a sudden it will not go into jiggle mode it will just continue to stay the way it is and of course finally this is a very helpful feature you only need you can if you want to lock certain applications on certain wi-fi networks so say you're home you won't lock anything as soon as you enter your house you won't have your messages locked or anything but say you step out of the house and disconnect from your home Wi-Fi and connect to your school Wi-Fi or 3G or something like that. All of a sudden, all those apps will be locked and uh, your vicious and malicious friends won't try to attack your phone. So yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. There's a few other things you can mess around with. Go follow the guy on Twitter. I don't see any meaning in that, but you can go ahead and do that if you want. This is called App Locker, and I hope you, I had a great time talking to you, even though you're not replying for some reason. Come on, talk, bro. Leave a comment. You know, be nice. But yeah, that's going to be it. This is me logging off.